Welcome to AP Bond Aboriginal and Contemporary Art at 139 McGill Road, Stepney. We have on uh, display at the moment our Mimili Marku 2010 exhibition, which uh, is a groundbreaking exhibition for the for a remote South Australian community and we're very, very happy with the works we've got up here. Uh, this is a painting by Milajari Pumani. She's uh, an 82-year-old um, woman from the AP Wildlands, and Mimili in particular. Um, she only really started painting about two years ago, but she's one of those really senior sort of people that's, that carries a lot of the sort of tribal lore and bush lore, and she's got a lot of bush knowledge, and um, it really comes across in her paintings. And I think she's could it possibly be one of the 10 best Aboriginal artists painting at the moment. Um, absolutely amazing work for someone who hasn't been painting for that long. And we're very pleased that two of her works from this exhibition have sold to the National Gallery of Victoria. This is a work by Robert Fielding, who's uh, a younger artist out of Mimili. Um, he's, if there's five pieces of his in the exhibition, he's becoming quite a master of, of, of overlaying techniques and things like that. And uh, I'd like to point out some of the places where he's triple dotted some of the works in here, overlaying over the dreaming designs on the, on the painting. Um, once again, I think he's another artist that's uh, got an incredible future and we're very excited about his works. This is a work by Puna Yamana. Um, Puna's an artist we've just starting to see some work coming in from him. We're really pleased with the, just these bright swatches of colours and things like that. She's depicting the Marku dreaming. Marku is the witchy grub, and which is the local, main local dreaming for the Mimini area. Um, these would be campfires, campsites, and if you see some U-shaped things sometimes, they will represent people. Um, we love the way she's using these big swatches of colour and I uh, think fantastic painting. This is a painting by Tuppy Goodwin, who's another of the artists um, at Mimili who's producing some fantastic works. It's her interpretation of the Marku or Wichity Grub Dreaming, and she's got some quite distinctive sort of elements she uses in her work, like these square shapes here. Um, she's also got quite a good sort of um, almost semi-pastel kind of palette that she's using on the paintings. Um, I was very f fortunate to, uh, in April this year, to go out and uh, hunt for Marku, which he grabs, uh, with Tuppy and a few of the other artists here. And uh, they took me out to lots of really beautiful sites around the community and the, in the Everard Ranges and it's a beautiful spot and um, it's, a, it's quite incredible how, how, much, how few people go out there. I know the art artists are immensely proud of the, uh, the quality of the works in this exhibition and I also would like to point out that the, the scale of the works, I mean pretty much everything in here is what could be classified as a major work and uh, it's also really important to, to make note of the fact that Aboriginal art in these small communities really empowers the people, it gives them a sense of pride and it makes them feel good about themselves, their, their, their stories and their heritage and um, I think it's if must view exhibition if anybody's coming in the, in the, in the area they should try and have a look at this show because it's beautiful.